The Control Freak workshop at the Maker Fair came and went and it was a great success. By far the most popular instrument that I brought was the finger percussion. This was the one that everyone wanted to build and to play with. I think the tactile sensation of the balloon membrane is somehow immediately gratifying, especially the kids were crazy about this one. So one of the main factors that makes these workshops possible and makes it easy for anyone to build one of these instruments is the use of pre-soldered sensor modules. And the sensor module that goes into the finger percussion is based on the CNY70 photo sensor. And so in this short video, I will show you how I assemble that module. Let's do it. The CNY70 is a four pin component, which carries an LED and a photo sensor in this small package. The text on the side of the component is useful for knowing which side of the CNY70 is which. So this dark dot on the text side is the sensor, while the other bluish dot over here is the LED. There are two pins which go off the ground. They are diagonally across from each other. The other two pins are three volt and sensor signal respectively. As a base for the module, I use a standard strip board like this. I need a piece which is six holes long and four holes wide. I cut through the two middle traces in the middle of the board to electrically separate the pins of the CNY70. There, now each pin has a separate strip with two free holes. Then I bend one of the ground pins down until it touches the other one and then I solder all four pins into place. I made this drawing to help me remember which pin is which. Once everything is soldered, snip off the pins. This sensor module uses two resistors. One is a 220 ohm resistor which is connected in series with the LED. The other is a 47K resistor which is used to adjust the sensitivity of the photo sensor. I insert the resistors like this, so that they both connect to the same free rail on the strip board. Once I attach the cable, this is going to be the 3 volt rail. Then I solder everything into place and we're ready to connect the cable. We use these three positions on the module, which then correspond to the three pins on the breakout board connector. 3 volts, signal and ground. Next we prepare the cable. We need three connections, so I pulled off three cables from a larger ribbon cable. Strip the ends, tin the tips, insert into the module and solder. Then get a three pin male header and solder the cable onto that. Heat shrink tubing is optional, but generally a good idea. And that's it, this module is ready for the next workshop where it will be used to make one of these cool finger drums or perhaps some other interesting DIY instrument. If you're interested in one of these workshops for your own school or institution, then please get in touch with me and we'll make it happen. And also don't forget to follow me over on Instagram at Continuum Lab and subscribe here on the channel for more news. See you in the Continuum.